Have you ever howled at the moon and wondered if any wolf might be listening? Today, we embark on a journey to explore the mysterious and captivating world of wolves, creatures that have inspired awe and fascination, fear and admiration in equal measure. Wolves, majestic and wild, roam the vast landscapes of our planet. From the frigid tundra of the Arctic to the dense forests of North America, the rugged mountains of Europe to the sweeping plains of Asia, their haunting howls echo across these diverse habitats. They are a global symbol of the wilderness, embodying the spirit of freedom and the untamed wild. There are several species of wolves, each with its unique characteristics. The gray wolf, the largest of the species, is known for its powerful physique and keen hunting prowess. The red wolf, smaller and more elusive, is a master of stealth and camouflage. The Ethiopian wolf, slender and fox-like, is a specialist hunter of rodents on the high-altitude grasslands of Africa. And then, there's the Arctic wolf, an incredible survivor in the harsh polar environment, its white coat a testament to its adaptation to the extreme cold. Yet, despite their widespread distribution and varied species, wolves are often misunderstood. They are portrayed as villains in folklore and popular culture, their image tainted by myths and misconceptions. They are neither the mindless predators nor the ruthless killers they are often made out to be. They are intelligent social creatures, living in tight-knit packs and displaying complex behaviors. Wolves are more than just symbols of the wild. They are key players in the ecosystems they inhabit, their role extending far beyond the hunt. They help maintain the balance of nature, their presence signaling a healthy environment. So let's shed the cloak of fear and misunderstanding that often surrounds these magnificent creatures. Let's step into their world, listen to their howls, and understand their lives. If you think you know wolves, prepare to be amazed as we dive deeper into their world. Did you know that wolves live in packs with a complex social structure? Let's delve right into the fascinating world of wolf packs. A wolf pack is not just a group of random wolves coming together. It's a sophisticated society with clearly defined roles and a strict hierarchy. At the top of this hierarchy is the alpha pair, often a male and a female who lead the pack. They are the decision makers, the planners, the ones that guide the pack on hunts and decide when to move from one location to another. Then we have the beta wolves, they are the second in command, the trusted lieutenants of the alpha pair. They not only help in decision making, but also maintain discipline within the pack. The beta wolves are the ones who would step up to become alphas if something were to happen to the current alpha pair. At the bottom of the pack's hierarchy are the omega wolves. They are the lowest ranking members and often the ones who eat last at a kill. But don't let this fool you. Omega wolves play an essential role in maintaining harmony within the pack by diffusing tension and preventing fights. Communication between wolves is a blend of vocalizations like howls and growls as well as body language. A wolf might show submission by tucking its tail and flattening its ears, while a dominant wolf might stand tall, with its tail held high. Wolves also use facial expressions to communicate. A relaxed open mouth can indicate playfulness, while bared teeth can signal aggression. Additionally, wolves have a unique way of expressing emotions and intentions through their eyes. A direct stare can be a sign of challenge or dominance, while averted eyes can denote submission. It's a silent language that speaks volumes about the wolf's social dynamics. So wolves aren't lone predators, but rather they are social animals with a sophisticated hierarchy. Their complex social structure is a testament to their adaptability and intelligence, and it's one of the many reasons why these creatures continue to captivate us. Ever wondered how wolves, being smaller than many of their prey, manage to hunt so successfully? These enigmatic creatures employ a suite of highly coordinated strategies that reflect their intelligence and team spirit. One of the primary hunting techniques wolves utilize is endurance hunting. Unlike cheetahs or lions that rely on speed and power for a quick kill, wolves are built for stamina. They can cover vast distances at a trotting pace, slowly wearing down their prey over miles of relentless pursuit. This is a game of endurance, and more often than not, the wolves outlast their quarry. But it's not just about stamina. Wolves are masters of strategy. They don't randomly chase their prey. Instead, they carefully select an individual, usually the young, old, or sick, and then execute a coordinated attack. This selective targeting allows the pack to conserve energy and increase their chances of a successful hunt. The role of each wolf during a hunt is critical. The alpha or lead wolf directs the hunt, making major decisions such as which prey to target and when to strike. The beta wolves, second in command, support the alpha. 
often taking on the physically demanding roles of chasing and cornering the prey. The Omega Wolves, the lowest ranking members, often hang back during the hunt, joining in only once the prey is worn down or killed. It's this remarkable teamwork that makes wolves such effective hunters. Each member of the pack knows their role and plays it to perfection, working in harmony to ensure the survival of the group. They communicate with each other using body language, vocalizations and even scent marking, synchronizing their efforts to take down prey much larger than themselves. In the harsh wilderness, hunting is a matter of life and death, and every hunt is a testament to the wolves' intelligence, endurance and teamwork. They are a marvel of nature, a symbol of the wild, embodying the raw, untamed spirit of the wilderness. Despite their size, wolves are formidable hunters thanks to their intelligence and teamwork. Can the presence of wolves change rivers? Sounds absurd, doesn't it? Yet, it's a truth rooted in the intricate tapestry of our ecosystem. You see, wolves aren't just predators, they are an integral part of maintaining the balance of nature. Let's take a journey to Yellowstone National Park, where in the mid-90s, wolves were reintroduced into the ecosystem after an absence of nearly 70 years. This reintroduction wasn't merely a nod to conservation efforts, but a move that brought about a cascade of unexpected yet positive changes. You see, before the wolves' return, the elk population had exploded, resulting in overgrazing. This overgrazing drastically affected the vegetation, leading to soil erosion and negatively impacting other species. However, with the wolves back in the picture, the elk population was kept in check. The reduced grazing allowed the vegetation to recover, leading to a domino effect of positive changes. As the trees grew, they provided homes for various birds and beavers. The beavers, known as ecosystem engineers, further helped to restore the landscape by building dams. These dams created habitats for otters, ducks, and fish. Moreover, the improved vegetation helped stabilize riverbanks, which in turn changed the flow of rivers, making them less meandering. The return of the wolves even impacted scavengers. The remains of wolves' prey provided food for bears, eagles, and ravens. This increased biodiversity and brought a new equilibrium to Yellowstone's ecosystem. This phenomenon is known as a trophic cascade. It demonstrates the interdependence of species within an ecosystem and the profound effects predators can have on their environment. So, to answer our opening question, yes, the presence of wolves can indeed change rivers. They guide the rhythm of life around them, shaping the land and the lives that inhabit it. Wolves, it seems, have a role far more significant than just being predators. Ready for a rapid-fire round about the most amazing facts about wolves? Let's dive right in. Wolves are speed demons, capable of reaching speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Their sense of smell is also outstanding, over 100 times more powerful than ours. Imagine being able to smell a dinner cooking from over a mile away. Now let's talk about their iconic howls. Did you know each wolf has a unique howl, just like our fingerprints? They use these unique howls to communicate with their pack across vast distances. And speaking of communication, wolves are also fantastic parents. They teach their pups everything, from hunting to social etiquette within the pack. Wolves are not just predators, they are teachers, communicators, and have a profound impact on the ecosystems they inhabit. And there you have it, a glimpse into the incredible world of wolves. These magnificent creatures are far more than what they seem, don't you agree?